Good evening grade eights. Um, for today's uh, YouTube video, we're just going to have a quick review of when we multiply fractions. Uh, there are a few different ways we could do this. We looked at three different ways specifically in class. Um, and we said, especially when we look at problems like this one here, half of three eighths, the of, if I circle it here, it's pretty much like saying half multiplied by 3 eighths. So it could be written as half multiplied by 3 eighths. So a lot of people already in our class in grade 8 knew that when you multiply, all you have to do is multiply the numerator by the numer numerator and the denominator by the denominator. So if you do that, you would get half times 3 eighths. Multiply the top by the top, and the bottom by the bottom, and you would get 3 over 16. However, a lot, while a lot of people can get the answer, they don't quite understand where that actually comes from, or what that those fractions interacting actually mean. And that's where we use models to kind of help us understand and help us explain that we know what we're doing. So today we're going to look at quickly representing a half of 3 eighths using a model representation um, to show we understand the problem. So we're going to quickly look at what we're given. We're given we need a half of 3 eighths. So straight away we need to say, well, let's represent 3 eighths of a whole first of all, and then we'll get a half of that. So if we draw our box, we always start by drawing our whole number or one so we'll do that like so let's draw our whole number like that so we have our whole and we want to separate it into eights so we have to split it up into eight different pieces so let's do that right now and use a dark color so let's do it as best I can so So we've split our whole now into eight different pieces. So how many are we looking at? We're looking at three eighths. So let's shade in three eighths of this model. There's one eighth, two eighth, and three eighths. So we've got three eighths of our whole, and we're looking to we're asking the question: What is a half of the three eighths? Um, so let's have a quick look at um, at what we're given. We're given the three eighths represented in our model, and in order to see what a half of this is, we would split our whole rectangle into. We already have eighths. Now let's split it into halves. So. If we draw a line across the center, we have halves. So right up the top, we have the eights, like so. We'd have eight pieces. And if we look at the side, we have our two pieces, or our halves. So we're looking at half of three eights. See what we can see. We have this section here. And we just need to isolate that for one moment while we find a half of it. Looking at our model, we can see that a half of this area here, this area here, is going to be three sections. This one, this one, and this one. So let's do that in a different color. It's going to be this one, this one, and this one. So if we look at these three blue sections now, they're going to be half of three eighths, or if we represented these blue as a fraction of our whole rectangle, it's going to be three 
over and count them up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And you can see that it's the same as our answer up the top. We've got 3 over 16. But I hope that explains just a little clearly how we can model our answer. I'm going to do another example. It's question 10 from our homework pages on October and the 7th. So we're going to have a quick look at one question. Matthew's bed takes up a third of the width of his bedroom and three-fifths of the length. What fraction of the area of the floor did the bed take up? So straight away we have to think, well, what are we asked? We're asked the following. So we're asked, this gets a little yellow. We're asked what fraction of the area of the floor did the bed take up? So we want to represent this using a model. Um, so if we draw a rectangle, we have to think to ourselves, well, what does this rectangle represent? And we always think of our rectangle as a whole, or one. Um, and in this case, it's going to be the area of the floor. So the entire rectangle is going to be the total area of the floor. Now what are we given in our question? Matthew's bed takes up a third of the width. So if it's a third of the width, let's have a look at the width up here. So we'll take the width as this here, W, for our width. And our length is going to be L. So a third of the width and three-fifths of the length. Straight away, we can split our um, area of our floor, our whole floor, into a grid. And how do we know how many grids we draw in? We look at the denominators again. 3 and 5. So let's draw um, or split our widths into thirds and let's split our lengths into fifths. So if we split our widths into thirds it would look like this. Three sections. And our length is going to be in fifths. There we go. So straight away we've split our whole number or our area of the floor into 15 equal sections. Now let's look at what we're given again. Matthew's bed, let's represent the bed using some red. His bed takes up a third of the width of his bedroom. So it takes up a third of the width and three-fifths of the length. So a third of the width would be maybe here third of the width would be one section and how many do we have to go across the length so we're going one section down for a third and how many sections across do we need to go in our bedroom we can see it's three-fifths of the length so let's go three-fifths of the length so we go one two and three so straight away we can see, right, that's it, we'll check our answer. We have to start the bed in the corner and we go one third of the width and three fifths of the length. And if we put a box around that, that's going to be Matthew's bed. Now let's see, we're asked, what fraction of the area of the floor did the bed take up? So we have to use our whole room or our whole number and write the bed as a fraction of that entire number. And we can see that we started with 15 pieces of our area of our floor and we have shaded in for our bed three so our fraction is going to be three over fifteen and there's our answer three fifteenths of the area of the floor the bed took up all right i hope that helped grade eights uh, we will have more practice this week on multiplication of fractions if you do have any questions please don't hesitate to ask me and we can go over some in class. Have a good night.